Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I'm excited to say that it looks like Ubisoft is finally going to be fixing the lighting problem in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, some of you are probably thinking right now, I'll believe it when I see it. If you've been around for a while, you know that Ubisoft has said this like half a dozen times. Everyone gets really excited when they make this announcement, and then when the patch goes live, you hardly notice any difference. What they were really referring to was like on one map, one small section, there was a lighting bug and they resolved that problem. And everyone was assuming what they meant was that when you stare outside or when you look into a building, uh, the lighting is awful. Either it's super bright or you can't see anything and it's just the pit of darkness. And so normally I wouldn't be getting my hopes up over this because we've been burned so often, but then they gave us concrete examples. Here on the left, you can see the before picture where everything is super bright, which is what we've been accustomed to since the very beginning of Rainbow Six Siege. And then on the right, it's perfect. We can see outside. It looks as if we're just looking into another room. There isn't any crazy light contrast difference there. And I think this is exactly what people have been waiting for this entire time. Same is true when you're looking outside in. Here on the left, we've got the before where it's very dark. I cannot tell you how many times I've opened up a barricade, peered on through and just saw darkness and then got shot in the face because I couldn't actually see my enemy. That shouldn't happen as often, or hopefully not as often, after this update, at least according to this picture. Now, admittedly, this update kind of took me by surprise because I've assumed at this point that this is what Ubisoft intended. The fact that they have made all these claims over this last couple of years, that they have been fixing the lighting, nothing's really changed. I just assumed that this is one way that they tried to balance out the game. They even mention it in this post update that this is one way they tried to deter people from spawn peeking. If you open up a window and everything is super bright and you have a hard time seeing what's going on outside, maybe you're gonna be less likely to go for that spawn peek. Same is true for the offensive side. They want offense to get into the objective they want them to get inside of the map. And so by having it be really dark when you're outside looking in, that was one incentive for you to actually get into the objective room itself. And so it's gonna be really interesting to see how this is going to change the dynamic in Rainbow Six Siege. If I had to take a guess, and probably something that, that people are a bit afraid of, is that this is gonna result in more people peering outside of windows and going for spawn peaks. I don't think it's really gonna have that much of a dramatic impact because as we all know, people already do that today. But if it is a bit easier and it's easier to see what's going on on the outside, that's probably gonna be one result of this. In the long run though, I think it's probably gonna be worth it. I mean, one of the reasons why I stare outside of a window isn't to go for a peek on their spawn. It's usually just to see if someone's outside on the balcony. I'm not going for a cheeky kill at the start of the round. I'm just playing the objective and it'd be nice if I wasn't punished by that lighting system. I think this really gets to the heart of the issue why I and a lot of people never really like the lighting to begin with. If you are playing the objective and you look outside, you know, doing what you're supposed to do and you don't see anyone because it's so bright out there, but then they kill you out of seemingly nowhere because they just had some weird advantage because of the lighting, that's incredibly frustrating, especially when you're on the receiving end of that. And so hopefully this will no longer be an issue. I'm crossing my fingers. They've made this claim a million times, but the fact that we're now getting some concrete examples of what they plan to do I really, really hope that they go through with it. Another thing I was surprised by with this article is that they're gonna be going in with each and every single one of the maps and reworking them to optimize them. The first one on their list is Cafe. Now, the reason for doing this is that apparently some of their maps are so crammed full of objects and things and textures that they've reached their memory limit and they can't do anything more with those maps. The example that they give is that let's say you have a box that is just full of stuff. It's full to the brim, but it's not very well organized. Well, what they wanna do is organize that box, really fit it tightly so that there's some extra space so that they have some options. What this first accomplishes is that hopefully these maps are just gonna be better at optimized so that they run smoother and better and they don't have any hiccups. The other reason that they give is that this gives them some breathing room and some options to add some things into the future. Now this last part really caught my interest because why do they need more space for the memory? What do they wanna change on this map where they needed to have this space? Maybe they're gonna change some objects around. Maybe they're gonna add in some objects to try to balance out some of these objectives. That could be really incredible. Now this is speculation. They have not confirmed anything in this update. All they've said is that they're gonna go through and optimize everything, which by itself is awesome. I think that's great, uh, but it could lead to more possibilities, which has me pretty excited. 
Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention about this article is that apparently they're going to be going in and changing up the skyboxes. Now, the reason why this is important is that apparently they were using Assassin's Creed dynamic weather system. Now, in an open world game like Assassin's Creed, it makes sense because you have different times of day and the weather and the sky needs to change accordingly. In Rainbow Six Siege, that's not really needed. We only have two different times a day, day or nights, and nothing really changes there. Why does it need to be dynamic? They've kind of realized that they don't need to do that, and so what they're going to do is go to image-based HDR skies. Not only is this going to optimize the game better, because it doesn't have this dynamic system going on in the background, uh, but also, it's just going to hopefully make a lot of the skies just look better. They give us a couple pictures here. I mean, it's the sky box. At the end of the day, it's not really going to change a whole lot, but that is another thing that they have on their plates. Uh, all in all, though, I am really excited about these changes. I do want to mention that this is not going to be coming with Operation Health. It's going to be releasing with the Hong Kong DLC, so we have to wait a bit longer. But as long as everything goes according to plan and they do what they're talking about in this little article, I think it's going to be worth the wait. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for today's little update. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this article. Are you excited about the lighting update? Are you disappointed because you think it's going to result in more spawn peaking? Give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but yeah, guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.